Here we're going to discuss retrosynthetic analysis, which is covered in the benzene and other aromatic compounds, electrophilic substitution reactions chapter. We'll start by defining retrosynthetic analysis. And retrosynthetic analysis, or RSA, is a technique for planning organic syntheses by breaking down the target molecule, or TM, into simpler starting materials called readily available starting materials, which are abbreviated as RASMs. This is achieved by imaginary breaking bonds. These are called disconnections, and by the conversion of one functional group into another functional group. And these are called functional group interconversions, or FGIs. And an RSA is used to devise on paper an appropriate forward synthetic route to the target molecule. And there is often more than one correct analysis. So we're going to look at an example now of a retrosynthetic analysis. We're going to look at designing a synthesis towards this ketone molecule here. This is my target molecule. And the first thing we're going to do is recognize that the ketone could be prepared from a secondary alcohol. So we're going to do an FGI back to the secondary alcohol, recognizing that in the final step of the synthesis, we could oxidize the secondary alcohol back to the ketone. So this secondary alcohol here now becomes my new target molecule, and we're going to look at disconnecting of the carbon-carbon bond, which is shown here, to form a set of synthons. And there are two sets of synthons that you can form by disconnection of that carbon-carbon bond. You can put a positive charge on the left and the minus on the right-hand side, or alternatively, we could put a minus on the left-hand portion and a plus on the right-hand side. And these are the two possible sets of synthons that we can get from disconnection of this carbon-carbon bond. The challenge now is to assign synthetic equivalents to each of those synthons. These are reagents that behave like those synthons. So a synthetic equivalent for this benzyl cation would be something like benzyl bromide, where we have a leaving group on this particular carbon. A synthetic equivalent for the negative charge on a carbon bearing an OH is not obvious, and so we can't assign easily a synthetic equivalent for that. So we'll look at the other set of synthons. A synthetic equivalent for this negative charge on the carbon next to a benzene ring, or the synthetic equivalent can be a Grignard reagent, an organometallic reagent. This reagent behaves like a benzylic anion. And then a synthetic equivalent for this positively charged synthon is an aldehyde. So we've recognized two sensible synthetic equivalents. And so in our forward reaction, we have these two steps. Take the Grignard reagent, we react it with the aldehyde, and then on acidic workup, we form the secondary alcohol, and it's this new CC bond that's formed in the reaction. And then in the second step, we oxidize the secondary alcohol to a ketone using an oxidizing agent such as pyridinium chlorochromate. So we'll look at one other example now, and we'll look at an RSA in synthesis of this aromatic compound here, where we have a methoxyl group and a methyl ketone in the 1,4 position of a benzene ring. So this is my target molecule, and I'm going to recognize that this OME group is 2,4 directing. So that means that I can introduce this ketone group in the 4 position, because the OME group can direct an electrophile to the 4 position of the ring. So I'm going to now look at disconnecting of that ketone side chain. I'm going to look at a set of synthons, and I'm going to put a minus on the benzene ring, because this is the nucleophilic group. I'm going to put a plus on the carbon bearing the carbonyl. The synthetic equivalent for these synthons is shown here, namely the benzene ring itself. And we're going to put a chlorine atom now attached to the carbonyl. And this, in the forward reaction, will be a Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. We're now going to look at how we can prepare this new target molecule, and we're going to disconnect the oxygen-carbon bond. And again, we're going to draw a set of synthons. We're going to put a minus on the oxygen, because that's relatively easy to achieve. And we're going to put a plus on the methyl side chain. So my synthetic equivalent now for these synthons will be phenol itself. And we're going to put a leaving group here. So we're going to put a bromine, so this is bromomethane. In the forward reaction, I can take phenol and I can deprotonate it with a base, in this case, sodium hydride, that forms the phenoxide ion, and that phenoxide ion can then react with bromomethane, 
in a substitution reaction to form the methyl ether. And this is named after Williamson, who devised this type of reaction, and it's called the Williamson ether synthesis. In the subsequent step, we're going to do a Friedel-Crafts acylation. We're going to recognize that the OME group is 2,4 directing. It will direct the ketone to the 2 and the 4 positions of the ring. And so we'll end up with this power product with a ketone is introduced at the 4 position on reaction with ethanol chloride and aluminium trichloride. And we'll also get the unwanted orthoisomer where the ketone group has been introduced at the 2 position with respect to the OME. And we can separate these two regioisomers and we can isolate the desired target, target molecule that we require in our synthesis.